Thank you. The reason I ask you guys, do you dream, is because I'm not a dreamer. Okay? I dream with my eyes open. I want to become the things that I see. When I was young, I did not know who and what I wanted to be. And so I was influenced by the things that I seen with my eyes. And what I seen with my eyes is what I wanted to become. How many of y'all know already what you want to do when you get a little older? How many of y'all know? That's great. My question becomes now, why are you waiting? Are you listening? Hello? My question now becomes, why do you think you need to wait until you get a little older to become the things that you want to become in life? Now, how many of y'all have parents or friends that talk to y'all every day about making money? Like, man, you better go get some money, man. You better get money. How many of y'all? Right? Now, I was one of them kids. I was one of them kids. Born and raised in Watts. Born and raised in Watts. I didn't, like, grow like, born somewhere else and then grow up in Watts. So I was the brokest there is. The brokest. The hungriest. Never, never had new clothes. Ever. All right? Every day I went to school just so I can eat. And I was hoping that I didn't lose my lunch ticket. <laughs> Hungry. That was me. The difference in me and a lot of people around me, I actually had a problem with that. I had a problem with being hungry. I had a problem with the fact that I would go to the mall with the rest of the homies and we walking in the mall window shopping, looking at everything in the window that we can't afford. Hungry, in the mall just trying to catch girls so we can figure out if we can get a ride home. <laughs> a lot of us, a lot of us know about the economy and what's going on and the recession and the Great Depression and all of this stuff. A lot of us know that we have this mission. We got to make money, got to make money. The problem is not making money because at some point we're all going to make some money. The problem is what do you do when you make your money? And that's what's not educated at the house. That's what's not taught because I've made millions of dollars, made millions and millions of dollars. But a lot of that money, before I got my act together, went to homies, went to friends, went to just spending money on everything, trying to catch up and make up for lost time because I was so broke. Okay? But when I, rent, when I ran into John Bryant, when I got the right business manager, I went through a few of them. When I, went, when I got with the right people, I was able to figure out what to do with my money. Okay? So I'm here. And I'm going to dedicate my life and my energy and my celebrity and my, my status. When y'all come out, when I show images on the screen and y'all start screaming, I'm like, cool that y'all screaming. But now that I know that y'all are screaming because I'm coming, that just shows me that y'all are ready to listen to anything I'm here to say. So I'm telling y'all, there is nobody in this audience, nobody, believe it, that can't do what we've been able to do on this stage. Eventually, we're going to get old, real old. <laughs> and it's about you. It's about you. So this is what I want to leave, with, leave you with. When you make the decision, and I want everybody to hear me on this, even the adults in the room. When you make the decision to do what you want to do with your life, just know this. Because the family and the friends in your life do not share your vision, in most cases, they will be the first person to try and talk you out of what you want to do with your life. But know this, only those that can see the invisible can do the impossible. So because you don't, because they don't see what you see, doesn't mean that you're supposed to settle and not do the things that God has sent you in your mind and your spirit. So God bless you. I believe in you. And we all believe in you. That's why we're here.